But then, Pharaoh had changed his mind. And the boy said, where are they? Where are my servants? He said, where are you going? How? You are the one who said you should go. Me! <laughs> and then, because God had not finished his judgment on him, Automatically, that makes you to understand that people who say you will not go into your promised land after the manner of Pharaoh, they will all perish in the rest. Of it. Then I come back and they looked at Pharaoh and the chariots, they come in and they, they became afraid. Yeah. And then they ran to Moses. And you know them. One of their people name is uh, Mormorin and Koine. <laughs> but while that was going on, Moses went to God. Pastor, that was be easy to know. Yeah. And so Pharaoh, 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 that was she. And as he was pushing and was seeing the Israelite ahead, he said, ah, see my meat. I will catch them. Please read that speech very well because I don't have the time. You know what was it? After God had parted the Red Sea, when he told uh, Moses, just stretch the rod. You remember that? Yes, sir. The Red Sea parted. And the children of Israel began to do what on right now. Now, Pharaoh and his chariot were coming. Don't forget, the place we prayed from, King Ahab was riding the chariot. Elijah was running on his feet. He overtook. Pharaoh is riding the chariot. The children of Israel were walking on their foot. You know what God did? God carried stick. <laughs> And then, on the wheel of the chariot, he blocked it. So while the Israelites were busy walking and going, God was slowing down the enemy. Until the Israelites had passed across, God now allowed Pharaoh and chariot to do what? To enter. <laughs> I love God. They enter. Because what they saw as dry ground that the Israelites walked through. They thought that place also applies to them. So they enter. God said, Okay, Moses, that same rod, stretch it back. Marvelous expression. Amen. As soon as Moses did that, the Red Sea came back on. Every single one of them were destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. I stand on this altar and I declare this afternoon. Any of your enemies that have been pursuing you from today, God will slow them down. Yeah. I also decree from this altar that what you have passed through and you come out of God, your enemies will go through and they will be swallowed. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Let me run. What month are we in? Month of expression. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Are you there? Are you there with me? Quickly. Deuteronomy. The fifth book of the Bible. Chapter 1. Just for clarity purpose. Let me read from verse 1. I'm using an idea. These are the words Moses spoke to all Israel in the desert east of Jordan. That is, 
in the Araba opposite Sop, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hazerot, and Dizahar. God help me. It takes 11 days to go from Horeb to Kadesh Benya by the Mount, by the Mount Sia Road. How many days? Yeah. This is the 11th month we are here, isn't it? Yeah. 11th month of the year 2011. Yeah. It's a wonderful month. Yeah. Incredible month. Amen. Month of marvelous expression. Amen. Now, look at verse 3. In the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month, on the first day of what? The 11th month, this month of marvelous expression, Moses proclaimed to the Israelites all that the Lord had commanded him concerning them. This was after he had defeated Shihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and at Edrei had defeated all the king of Bashan, who reigned in Astaroth. You will defeat your enemies. Amen. East of the Jordan, in the territory of Moab, Moses began to expound this law, saying, I want you to listen very carefully. The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed long enough where? Where you are now, you have stayed long there. Your time at your present location has expired. And my prayer is you will no longer be comfortable where you are. Happen. Let's just put you 30 and just relax here. 
And Moses went and inquired of God. God said, Go and tell them. I didn't tell him to come and dwell at this mountain. This is not the promised land. Your place of rest is not here. It's beyond the Jordan. That one amazing thing about God is this. If God says, this is the time your captivity will last. When that land comes, if nobody cries, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. 